So today I'll be sort of doing like a cephalotis video. I haven't done, I actually did quite a lot of videos on these guys. And this picture just freshly opened. Yesterday, um, I yesterday night I saw the picture was closed and today morning it just opened. And it actually opened way faster than I expected. There's some nice teeth. Let's see if we can capture the teeth. And this picture is slightly like bigger than like the previous. And obviously, I'll show you what the crown looks like. And this picture looks very cute, I should say. And looks very evil as well. Like, doesn't look like a... So it looks like a demon too, like insects. Um, let's see if we can zoom you in on the teeth. I need two hands on that. Well, that's a nice view of a cephalotus teeth. And you can, as mentioned, cephalotus has these hollow like interiors. Let's see if, like you can see that hollow color that cephalotus has. Okay, that's just so zoomed in. They had those colors and that presents that the purpose of those collars you can see like inside there's like a little sort of line thing um it that's the purpose of stopping insects from climbing out you can watch my um what's inside the cephalotis video and yeah that's just a quick and i got this plant from brad's greenhouse it is pacomine beach and i had it for around four months two months sorry I'm lying. Um, two months, and when I just got this plant, it didn't have this picture. So within two months, this picture grew. That was actually fast compared to I've seen cephalotis pictures develop within six months. So this is actually quite fast. So I like it. And it's kind of green compared to older ones because I do know that um, Brad uses Mars Hydro to grow his cephalotis, which is very bright. And I just used fl fluorescence which is gives it a nice green color but surely under like low light condition it's definitely bigger and yeah and we'll see you on the next video oops i'm not i'll zoom you back out and that just my cephalotis bye